If you've been following along on the video series for the WordPress Essentials, then you'll know that we created an account within WordPress.com. And you can see that I'm on the WordPress.com website itself. I've gone ahead and signed up and registered for an account. My address for the URL that I chose was lecture snippets dot wordpress dot com and if I go to that you can see your website itself so if you've been following along whatever you typed in for your name dot wordpress dot com this will be your live website that's currently up and running and they've got a couple things by default automatically set up for you and you can see the website that you've currently have set up now to understand how to use wordpress there's two different ways to look at your website. You've got this front end which is this nice graphical this is what everybody sees when they type in your website address. This is wonderful. Well we also need to make changes to our website and so what we'll do is we have this back end called a dashboard and you can see the link here that's set up for admin dashboard. Now I want to point out some things because if we start making changes you won't have these nice links any longer once we start making our own posts or deleting some of the things that are on here. So if you ever get lost and you want to get back to the dashboard and you don't know how to get back to the dashboard, I want to point out at the very bottom where my mouse is here, you'll see when I hover over it's going to have the wp-admin at the end of my site. So if I add that up there, let's just go ahead and do it that way, wp-admin. and This will work for us if we're using um, our, a hosted company. At the end of your website you can type in wp-admin or if you're running your own server, if you're using your URL, whatever you're doing uh, to, to get to your site, uh, or an IP address, whatever you use, you want to type in the forward slash WP admin. And I'm going to go ahead and hit enter now. And that's going to take us to the login screen to log into this back end called a dashboard within WordPress itself. So I signed up using WordPress.com's website and I chose a username of Lecture Snippets when I signed up because that's the name of my website and it was their default name. And so the password, I'm going to go ahead and use the password I used for when I signed up. And that'll get me logged into their back-end dashboard here for WordPress. And so this is where all the magic happens within your website. All the changes that you want to make to make it look different, it's all going to be done through this dashboard set up within WordPress. And so you have to get used to knowing and starting to understand dashboard itself. And within dashboard, we'll make our changes. If I open up another tab in my browser, which I'll go ahead and do that right now, and I'll just go back to the website, lecturesnippets.wordpress.com. You can usually, typically when I'm doing this website, I'll go back and forth between the two. I'll go to the dashboard, make the changes on the dashboard, refresh my page on this tab, and you can see the changes that I've made. So you've got the option, many different ways of doing this. Um, within the dashboard itself, there's a link. If I cl right click on this, I can open up my page. It can also preview pages and so forth. But when I do it, I typically have two tabs open when I'm making my changes. I have a tab for the dashboard, and I have a tab for my website and I just refresh this website whenever I want to see the changes that are made. So now in the next video we're going to start going through the dashboard and get you familiarized with what's been set up on your page, how to make some changes to the things that are already existing on your page, and then eventually within our series we're going to create our own posts, themes, and so forth. So in the next video we'll start looking at what's currently on the default page when we first got started.